It was 35 years ago that go-ahead was given to build the B-58 Hustler. From the start, it was apparent this airplane would be a record setter. Technology instantly took several giant strides. The Hustler has mid-mounted delta wings, which was quite an innovation at the time. Because of the high temperatures associated with Mach 2 flight, skin panels were made of aluminum glass fiber honeycomb between layers of metal. The bomber also made the first use of the escape capsule concept. The crew sat in individual capsules that could be ejected in an emergency. That allowed for ejection at supersonic speed. The Hustler was armed with a 20 millimeter Vulcan cannon in the tail and a special pod under the airplane which was used to carry nuclear or conventional bombs. The pod also carried fuel and could be jettisoned once it was empty. But the main feature of the B-58 was speed. Powered by four J-779 GE-1 engines, it could cruise at nearly 1,500 miles per hour for nearly 3,000 miles. The Hustler started right out breaking records. During the course of its career, the B-58 won the Thompson, Blériot, Bendix, McKay, and Harmon trophies for outstanding flight performance. It set 14 world records in international competition. For example, this flight from Texas to California at nearly the speed of sound with the plane never more than 500 feet above the ground. Low-level penetration at high speed is accepted practice today. At this time, however, this was really something. In SAC combat competition, a crew from Carswell Air Force Base scrambled, started engines, and got wheels rolling in two minutes and 10 seconds, half the time required for other bombers of the time. Later, special courses were set up, and the B-58 broke record after record for speed. The next step was to go for altitude records, and those two fell to the Hustler. In this case, 16 and a half miles high, beating marks set by the Soviets. The next world records fell as the B-58 dashed from Los Angeles to New York and back to Los Angeles in four hours and 41 minutes. Then it was a non-stop flight from Carswell Air Force Base to Paris. They call this one the Lindy Hop, with the Hustler stopping on the exact spot where the spirit of St. Louis came to rest.